Hey everyone, I just want to drop in and give you a quick hands-on look at the new Procreate Dreams 2 beta. I just started messing around with it, so today's really just a quick tour to show you some of the new features. I'll definitely do more videos once I've had a chance to dig in deeper and really explore everything. So when you open up Procreate Dreams 2, you'll see the theater. It looks pretty much like the original app, except now any files from the original version will have a 1.0 next to them. And then if you click on that, it'll convert it into the new file format. One thing I've noticed is that when you convert an original Dreams file, its structure stays the same. So groups don't automatically turn into flipbooks. You'll need to do that manually if you want them to be converted over. Another thing that I've noticed is that if you drag over a Procreate file, so in this file, I've dragged over a couple Procreate animation files. They do actually convert over to flipbooks. Now let's walk through the new file interface. There are some pretty big changes here. First off, the right side has really been simplified a lot. There's now just an add new button and other options have been moved elsewhere. And when you click the add new icon, you get all of the existing options that you had like photo, video, text, but now you'll have drawing and flipbook that are now included in those, which I will walk through flipbook later in this video. And at the bottom of the timeline is the work modes. Right now we're in the compose mode, which is streamlined so you can really focus on the main composition and easily rearrange elements. Then there's perform mode. And as you can see, once you enter perform mode, you will actually see like the keyframes will show up. That's kind of the big difference between compose and then the other two options is that this one is kind of more simple, clean. And then once you get into the other modes, you'll start seeing the keyframes as well as once you're in perform mode, you have the like record icon, which just like in the original version will allow you to choose what type of action you want to record. Another interesting thing I discovered and I really want to show you guys, as I know this could be something that people may be looking for is when you're in perform mode, if you tap on that hand icon, you get the motion filtering slider. This is something that I believe in the original version was like up in the top corner when you were in perform. Now it's gonna be tied to this icon. Next, we have the keyframe mode and kind of the only big difference is that instead of the record icon, now we have that clapper and then you can keyframe any of the actions just like with the original app. One thing I want to call out, if you've seen my other videos, you know that there used to be a fourth option, which was kind of the select and edit mode. One thing I've noticed is now that has been moved up here, which I think is actually a really smart choice to do as it's something that will be really helpful to have just be available consistently in all the different modes. And to kind of show you how this works, similar to the, like back when it used to be over here, once you have that toggled on, you can then select multiple keyframes and you can actually now, when you hold down on a keyframe, copy and then hold it down again and paste it. You also have the ability now to drag them around so you can move them around. This is such a really exciting feature to see finally in Procreate Dreams. It's definitely gonna save so much time being able to just copy and paste and move around keyframes. And the great thing is that it's not just with keyframes, you also have the ability to move around and drag multiple content. Another cool feature with the timeline is now you have the ability to adjust the height of the timeline. So if you need to like zoom in 
and you just need or you need to see multiple tracks now you can just adjust the height and it also goes kind of the other direction where if you need to see the full canvas now you have that option as well which is really cool but now that we're zoomed in i can show you that you can select multiple and then now you can drag it so now you don't need to have to like select and group multiple content in order to move it around the timeline now you can just select and drag it where it needs to go which is really awesome this was definitely the feature that i was like most looking forward to i know like in my projects it's always such a pain to have to kind of use workarounds just to kind of move stuff around so I'm really excited to finally see that implemented in Procreate Dreams. And then to the left of the multi-select tool is our settings. This is where all the movie settings are going to be housed now. And the nice thing is with the new simplified interface, you can still kind of interact with things while you're just making some quick adjustments. You have your project settings which is the first one, which will have like the frames per second, the duration, history, resolution, all that good stuff. Then we have the stage section, which has all these settings that were tied to the timestamp. Now it's going to be housed with all the other movie settings, which makes a lot of sense. So the first thing we have is the background color, which has like palettes. You can input a specific hex code. You can pull from whatever your active color that you're using whatever you kind of want it has it there you also have the ability to toggle on transparent background and then your onion settings are all in there next we have the timeline which has your playback mode so like loop ping pong also, your ability to toggle on whether you want to have the keyframe at the start every time you're keyframing something. All of that is in the timeline section. Then we have our share options, which now feature the animated GIF. And then we also have the advanced export interface, which allows you to kind of have greater control of videos and GIFs, everything that's going to be exported out, which is really awesome. Here you can see what the GIF is, and then you can also make adjustments as you want, and then preview those adjustments within the interface so you can see it kind of play back and make sure that you're happy with the end result, which is really cool to have kind of more functionality and to be able to export as a GIF. You also have the ability to export transparent background now. So it's so exciting to have all of those features now. Lastly, we have our preferences. So all the undo preferences, keyboard shortcuts and gestures, you can now adjust there. Next, I'm going to go into our flipbook mode so you can add a new flipbook and then it works and kind of looks very similar to Procreate. And so just like in Procreate, now you can play back in real time, but you have the option to add a new track. You also have the ability to determine the opacity and blending mode for specific tracks, which is really cool. I have that all within the flipbook mode. And then we also have that multi-select icon that's within flipbook mode. So you can select multiple frames and then drag them around so you can move around frames also within this mode as well which is really awesome and so that's basically the timeline oh one thing else to call out is you have the ability to flip frames so that will switch them over you also have the ability to adjust the frame duration so you can hold frames 
which is kind of nice. You don't have to like drag them out to adjust the frames. You actually now have the ability to input the number of how long you want to hold it. Very similar to kind of the original Procreate. And then just moving up to the top, we have our settings. You have the ability to add photos, which is really nice to be able to add that content within flipbook mode. You had canvas. A cool feature that's under canvas that I thought was really cool is the solo flipbook, which allows you to just focus on what's within your flipbook and it kind of hides everything else that's going on in your video. I thought that was a really cool feature. You have your onions, so you can adjust it within the flipbook mode. And then you have your preferences that are specific to flipbook. Next, you have your adjustment filters. And currently, these are pretty limited compared to Procreate. But I think in the future, I bet we'll see this kind of get flushed out more and have more of the filters or adjustments from Procreate come into Procreate Dreams. But it's nice to have it all within the flipbook mode. Next, we have probably the highest requested feature, which was the Select and Transform tool. And so as you can see, it works very similarly to Procreate. You even can use like the same gestures, copy and paste, and then, you know, move it around with the transform tool. And you can actually like adjust the size and even rotate it. And then when you're happy with it, just hit transform to set that permanently. So definitely super excited to see the Select and Transform now available in Flipbook mode. And I think that kind of wraps up all the features right now. As I said before, I'll probably do another video later once I've gotten a chance to really dive deeper and really play around with all of these different features. But thanks so much for watching. And if you've had a chance to join the beta, let me know in the comments. And if not, drop your questions about Procreate Dreams 2. I'd love to hear what you want to see next.